In this lesson, I will show you how to turn the collection of layers you assembled in lesson one into an actual model that you can fit to the data and then use to predict on new data. I will start with the two simple Keras layers you defined in lesson one. Note that I've taken a shortcut here. Rather than defining the output layer in one line and then the output tensor in the next, I'm using one line to both create the layer function and then call it to produce a tensor. There are two sets of parentheses in that line because we both create the function and then call it in the same line. To build a model, you simply import the model class from keras.models and pass your input and output to this class. In this case, we only have a single input and a single output, which we pass directly to the model. However, later in this class, you will work with multiple inputs and multiple outputs, in which case you will pass lists of inputs or lists of outputs to the model. Finally, you must compile the model before fitting it to data. The compilation step finalizes the model and gets it completely ready for use in fitting and predicting. During compilation, you select an optimizer. I almost always use the Atom optimizer, and you will find it typically gives good results. During compilation, you also select a loss function. In this case, we use mean absolute error, which is a good general purpose error function for Keras models, as it is a little bit less sensitive to outliers. You could also use mean squared error, which would be equivalent to traditional linear regression. Before fitting my models, I also like to summarize them. You can do this by calling the summary method on the model object. This gives you a nice table of the layers in the model, so you can confirm they are as you expect. In this case, you can see your input layer and your output layer. The output layer has two parameters, which makes sense as you have one input and one output. The model you have defined here is a standard linear regression model, equivalent to y equals mx plus b. m and b are the two parameters. In the terminology of linear regression, m is the slope and b is the intercept. In the terminology of Keras, m is the weight of the dense layer and b is the bias of the dense layer. It is also useful to plot the model before fitting it. A plot gives you a little bit more information than a summary. It shows you how the layers connect together visually. In this case, the input layer connects directly to the output layer, which is dense. Note that in the code for this example, I've named the dense layer. Names are useful when you're looking at model plots to help keep track of which layer in the plot is which layer in the code. Plot model saves the image to a file, which we can then display using matplotlib's imread and imshow functions as shown here. Now it's your turn.